Hey numismatics enthusiasts! Welcome back to CoinOz, the go-to place for all things coins. If you're a coin collector or just have loose change lying around, you won't want to miss today's video. Did you know that some modern US coins are worth way more than their face value? Stick around as we uncover 7 hidden treasures that might be in your possession right now. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all our numismatic adventures. Number 7. 2004 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Reverse. Graded in Mint State 66 Red by PCGS. Medium spread and extra thickness on E Pluribus Unum, and United States of America. But you'll need magnifying glass to spot the doubling as it is not as bold as in popular double die varieties. This MS-66 specimen ended up selling for $432 on January 16, 2024. Number 6. 2009 D. Roosevelt Dime with Full Bands. Graded in Mint State 69 FT by NGC. The terms full band or full torch are typically used in reference to the bands on the reverse, back, of a Roosevelt Dime. The design on the reverse includes two horizontal bands that encircle the torch. Full bands means that these bands are well-defined and fully separated. When a coin is described as having full bands, it indicates that the central bands on the torch are distinct and show little to no wear. This sharply struck condition rarity ended up selling for $558.13. Number 5. 2008 D. Alaska State Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. Circulating commemorative coin from 50 State Quarter Series. Reverse of this coin depicts a grizzly bear emerging from the waters clutching a salmon in its jaw. The coin's design includes the North Star. This coin is rare in Mint State 68 with only three specimens certified by PCGS in this lofty grade as of January, 2024, according to PCGS website. This specimen ended up selling for $1,237.50 with buyer's fee. Number 4. 2004 Piece Metal Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the piece metal designed by Norman Nemeth was only employed in 2004, and remains extremely popular among collectors. This is an incredible condition rarity from a mintage of 361 million coins, one of only 8 MS-68 representatives at PCGS with none finer. It was sold for $3,055. Number 3. 2011 D-Shield Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 68 plus read by PCGS. The US Mint struck way too many 2011 D Shield Lincoln sets, as its mintage is well over 2 billion. Collectors can be extra picky when it comes to this issue as there exist many examples in gem condition. Only in MS 68 grades or higher is it scarce. This elusive specimen was sold for $4,800. Number 2. 2000 Lincoln cent struck on a 2000 New Hampshire quarter. An error coin in Mint State 64. Remnants of undertype are visible within the Lincoln cent strike, surrounded by the quarter dollar periphery. The cent strike is well centered. It ended up selling for $19,200. Number 1. 2000 P. Jefferson nickel struck by two obverse dies. Incredibly rare error nickel graded in Mint State 65 by PCGS. This intriguing Jefferson nickel has two obverses, rotated approximately 225 degrees from coin turn. Both sides are weakly struck due to improperly spaced eyes, but exhibit a readable date and mint mark and a partial outline of the bust of Jefferson. Although unstruck areas retain the dimpled texture of the planchet surface, post-strike contact is confined to the rim near and G on one side, and the rim near Bert on the other side. It was sold for $20,520. There you have it, 7 modern US coins that might be worth more than you think. Before you rush to check your coin stash, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and hit that subscribe button for more fascinating numismatic content. God's willing, see you in the next episode.